beautiful people, it's Rakita and I'm back with another video. So on this video, I wanted to answer a question that I actually got last month when I was live. So someone actually asked me, was there a furniture, any furniture credit that someone can get without them actually checking their credit scores or if they had bad credit? And I actually found a company, you guys. So Asima is an actual credit. It's not like a credit card, but it's actual credit where you can get furniture, you can get tires, you can get things for your eyes like eyewear, you can get appliances, you can get electronics, you can get multiple things and we'll go into details. And they'll give you a generous limit, should I say, so you can get a generous amount if you have bad credit. And it's very easy to get approved for them. They're just gonna check your bank account and they'll let you know if you're actually gonna get approved. They're gonna get they're gonna approve you based off your income and if you have any late payments on your account. So let's go into the requirements for this credit. So if you want to get approved for this credit, all you have to do is go to asema.com and then you wanna go down, just go ahead and scroll down and you will see that you have to have at least three months of history at your current employer. So you have to have three months at your current employer, you have to have at least a thousand dollars going into your checking account each month you have to have a checking account <laughs> so you have to have a checking account for at least 90 days and then two they're going to check to see if you have any um, overdraft fees if you had any negative balances if you had any late um maybe any fees where you know maybe something got returned so make sure you don't have any negatives in your bank <clears throat> in your banking account and you want to make sure you have at least 90 days with a checking account and you have the 90 days of income um, through your current employers at least a thousand dollars now when you want to find out if there's a store so say if you're trying to get you know say if you want to get some appliances you want to get the furniture all you have to do is click right here on find a store after you click on find a store, they want you to put your zip code in. So let me go ahead and put the zip code in. Put your zip code in and confirm the city and state. After you confirm the city and state, they're going to say, hey, are you trying to get some tires? Here's all the tire shops. If you're trying to get furniture, you click on furniture and they'll show you all the furniture and mattress stores. Appliances. They'll have all of the appliance stores here. Home, electro home electronics. They'll have all those stores. Eyewear. And if you're trying to look at more categories, they have power tools, outdoor goods, jewelry, car auto electronics, and they have musical instruments also. So there's multiple stores that you can actually get, um, use this credit at. But let's find the furniture stores because that was the initial question. So let's go ahead and click on furniture and mattress. And then let's click on the store that you want to go to. So let's just say it's going to be the Tampa Furniture Outlet. So let's just click there. And then let's click on apply for SEMA. So let's cl click right there. And these items, you're actually leasing these items until you can completely pay them off. So as soon as you pay them off, as soon as you pay off your bill with them, then you actually own the items. So understand that you're going to own these items. So let's click on start the application. So you're going to put your first and last name in, your social security number in, and then they want you to confirm your social security number. If you don't have a social security number, you only have your I-10 number, you can put that in too, which is great. And put your phone number in. So another information, that they, more information that they're going to want, they're going to want your address and they're going to want your email address. So make sure you put that information in. This is not available in certain states. So keep that in mind. If you're in these states like Wisconsin, New Jersey, New Jersey Wyoming, then you can't use this. Um, and go ahead and put your date of birth in. Go ahead and click your ID type. So if it's a driver's license, state ID, military ID, go ahead and click what you have. And then put your ID number in with your state. They're going to look at your bank account. They're going to look into your bank account and see the transactions that you had in your bank account in terms of do you have any overdrafts? What's your end balance a lot of times? You know, are you having a negative balance? So <clears throat> they're going to look into your bank account. They're going to need your route number, your account number, and then your bank name. And then also want to know your income source. So they want to know about your job. You so they want to know if it's full-time, part-time, are you self-employed, are you getting Social Security, are you retired, are you getting military, long-term disability, and alimony. So you can click whichever one you're getting. And then they want to ask you, how are you paid? Are you paid via direct deposit? Are they printing a check for you? So go ahead and click which one you're um, getting. And then they want to ask, what's your monthly income? So all together, out of that whole month, how much are you getting? So put that here. 
And then how often are you paid? Are you paid weekly, every other week, twice a month? So go ahead and click how often you're being paid. And I want you to keep this in mind. They're not looking at all three credit bureaus. So they're not looking at your TransUnion, Equifax, or your Experian credit report. They're looking at your secondary bureau. So if you can see right here, Experian Clarity, I told you all about Clarity, Clarity and other agencies, those are secondary bureaus, then and they're looking at those companies, looking at your report with them, because you actually have a credit report with more than just the three main credit bureaus. And they're going to determine based off of what's on that report and also um, your bank accounts, your bank accounts, your history in your bank account. They're going to determine if they're going to approve you for this credit. So I actually applied for this credit and I was approved for $2,175. So I wanted to see after I found the company, I didn't want to put it out there for you guys. I wanted to see how much I would get approved for just to let you guys know. So I was approved for $2,100 and it was very quick. So I put my information in just like this. I checked these two boxes after I read all this information and I clicked submit application after i submitted my application they told me right away i was approved for a set amount now i actually went to the store so i, I went to the store because i want to see okay now i got the credit is this going to be legit can people actually get the credit and they told me the only thing that i have to do is find the furniture that i want to get and after i found the furniture that i want to get they were going to send me a text message with that text message i can actually sign my contract they only want to text you the um, contract just to verify your phone number <laughs> a tricky way of verifying your phone number but after they verify that that is your actual phone number, they'll send you that contract and then they want you to make a small deposit. So they told me with the credit that I have, I will actually be able to get 10% more, which means that I'll be able to get an additional $217 that will take care of like the taxes and, you know, things like that. So I actually got more than the $2175. And they also let me know that after I signed my contract that they were going to actually send out the furniture if I wanted to get the furniture. So if you guys are interested in this, maybe you want to get a furniture, maybe you want to get some tires, maybe you need to get some appliances, whatever you want to get, understand that you're able to get this credit and they have something called the 90 days same as cash. So with the 90 days same as cash, as long as you pay off your bill within 90 days, let me go to that screen. As long as you pay off your bill within 90 days, you shouldn't pay any additional fees other than the fee that you paid in the beginning to get it set up, that small fee, which can be between like $30 and $70. So you have 12 months to pay this off, but if you pay it off within the 90 days, then you're going to save so much. You're going to pay the same as cash, whatever you owe is what you owe, and that's it. If you don't pay it off within the 90 days, but you still pay it off early, you still get, you know, 25% or more discount on all your outstand, out, um, outstanding payments. So understand that you have 12 months to pay off whatever you get, and they're not going to pull your TransUnion, Equifax, or Experian credit report, that, but they're, they're going to report your payment history to Experian so you can actually build your um, Experian credit report up with your payment history getting reported. Now, if you want to know more about secondary bureaus, which I think that everybody should start looking at their secondary bureaus, I understand that they don't want TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian to be the three main credit bureaus, but there's other bureaus out there that collect information about you, and you may think that just having your three main credit bureaus you know, clean and fix and build, you'll be fine. And that's not necessarily true. I want you to look into joining my exclusive membership. My exclusive membership, I teach you how to build your credit, how to remove the negative items from your credit report and say credit reports and say if you need help, we can actually help you remove those items from your credit report also. But you'll learn all about credit. You'll learn about these secondary bureaus and I'll teach you how to freeze these secondary bureaus so that they cannot get a copy of a credit report and also how to repair these secondary bureaus. If you have any questions, Go ahead, call or text me at 833 Akita. I'll be happy to help you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you like, subscribe, like, and subscribe to my channel, you guys. I'll see you guys later.